Hey friends, it's Paula Tish, your favorite Huntsville realtor. And today we're gonna to talk about the Huntsville, Alabama real estate market. videos I would love for you to like and follow me here on the YouTube channel and on all the socials at list with Paula so today I'm going to do something a little bit different normally I give you a monthly update of what's going on in the real estate market and today I want to kind of look back at what's been happening over the last couple of years things are really changing and the stats are a little bit more interesting if you look at them over a two-year period let's start today with sales price if you're a homeowner you know the sales price of your home has skyrocketed. We saw unprecedented increases in home value over the last couple of years. In January of 2021, the average home price here in Huntsville, Alabama, in the Madison County area was around $275,000. In January of 2022, the average price was about $330,000. That's a giant leap. In January of 2023, the average price of a home in Madison County is $333,000, which is amazing. And yes, an increase over last year. However, not as big of an increase as there was from 2021 to 2022. Number two, new listings. In January of 2021, there were just over 400 listings. In January of 2022, there were less than 300 listings. And in January of 2023, there were less than 250 listings. So the number of lists, new listings is falling. And this can be for a multitude of reasons. One, people, not as many people are wanting to sell their house. Two, it can be that houses are staying on the market longer. And so thus we don't have the constant new listings coming up every single month. Number three, the number of houses that are for sale in the Madison County area. In January of 21, there were about 280 houses available in Madison County. In January of 2022, there were 230 houses available in Madison County. And in January of 2023, there are 633 houses available for you to purchase. The law of supply and demand tells us that with more product available, there is more competition in price, and that is gonna bring our prices down a little bit. Not huge, okay, let's not panic, but it is gonna bring the prices down because there's more available for our buyers to choose from, and the buyers are starting to have a little bit more leverage. Let's talk about the average days on market. This statistic shows us that things are really changing. Last year, man, I, if I had a listing and I put it on, I would expect it to sell over the weekend. I could just have that expectation. Now, that is not the case. Again, because there's 633 houses on the market and a lot more competition, buyers can take a little bit more time. So in January of 2021, your average house was on sale for 21 days. January of 2022, 13 days. And this is like your top-notch, stellar, ready to sell, ready to move in houses, and your completely gut job houses, okay? It's all, it, this is, takes into account all those houses in the Madison County area. Now in January of 2023, the average days on market is 27. That's almost a month, you guys. That's a big change from, let's sell this house over the weekend. I wanna give you a little bit of an example so that you can understand what that really means. Because last week I showed nine houses ranging in price from the 300s to the 600s. This was all over the place, you guys. And who knows how long these will be on the market because none of them are sold yet. I had a range from 10 days to 131 days on the market. And the others were like nine days, 90 days, 12 days, 104 days, 68 days, 51 days. I am seeing houses sit on the market longer and longer and longer and longer. There's so much more to choose from. Buyers aren't feeling that pressure of, oh my gosh, I gotta buy it right this second or somebody else is gonna snatch it up because that's not happening. Just a little side note. 
if you love the house, you should definitely try to snatch it up because someone else might love it and be ready to purchase it at that same time. So don't dilly dally just because you think you got a hundred and some odd days on the market. If you love it, let's get it. Okay. The thing is, as a seller, it may feel like this is not a great thing. But the truth is that when the market evens out, it really is a good thing for everyone involved because people can purchase a home at a fair price, especially for some home buyers. It's a problem for them when things get um, eaten up by investors that are buying with all cash. So this is opening a door for everyone to be able to walk in and purchase a home because there is more opportunity out there. You don't have to decide on a dime. You don't have to go in $50 million over list price. In fact, when we talk about the percentage of list price that homes are selling for, in January of 2021, they were selling right average. This is average again, you guys, average. The average of all the homes sold was 100% of list price. That means just as many homes went for over and just as many homes went for under. In January of 22, the average was above 100%. That means way more houses were going for over list price than under list price. Now, in January of 23, mm -mm, it's under list price. More houses are going for under the list price than are going for above list price. That's your market update for January of 2023. I'm excited to see what 2023 brings us because this is a whole new world from last year. This is a time where things are open and buyers can ask for things and sellers can say yes or no. And I'm even seeing sellers pay for some closing costs. Oh my gosh, sellers are buying down rates for people. There's just a lot of things going on that really open up the market for everyone. So if you are in the market for a new home, you wanna buy or sell or whatever, I am here to help you. I would love to help you because I want you to love where you live.